Doesn't Christianity cause more harm than good? This is a tough question. What I want to say from the very beginning here is it's a valid question or point depending on how it is raised. What do we say to that? Well, first we have to say sorry. As Christians, we have to say, look, what was committed in the past, horrible and wrong acts that were committed in the name of God, we need to say sorry and say that is wrong. But why do we say sorry? We apologize because that does not reflect who God is, His character. It does not reflect accurately who Jesus Christ is. Now, when we think of the question, again, it, it, well, in a way, it points us to Christ. It, it says, look, you've got to discover, you've got to study who Jesus is. And when we do find out who Jesus Christ is, we find out that actually He does not support or endorse those things, those horrible things that have been done in His name. Moving on, though, when we look to the early church and what made it famous, it was love. It was the love of God that actually made the church famous. In fact, many sociologists and historians have pointed out that not only did the early church grow at a rapid pace, but it was this love. It was a costly and sacrificial love. The early church theologian Tertullian once wrote this. He was comparing the the early church to the pagans. He wrote, It is the practice of our loving kindness that brands us in the eyes of our opponents. Only look, they say. Look how they love one another. So when we are asked this question, look, Christianity has not caused more harm than good. We've got to take it seriously. And as Christians, we need to say, yes, we are sorry. That is wrong. But it's wrong because it does not reflect who God really is. We also mustn't forget the good parts of Christendom. There are good parts. And those good parts point to the person of Christ. Love is what made the early church famous, and this love, a costly love, was rooted in the person of Jesus Christ. (laughs) 